Hey YouTube, here's another fun idea for you. If you remember, I made this mount in another video using some corner protectors for a monitor and the cardboard protector for a computer. I put a piece of wood on it, I sprayed it with um, texture paint, I glued rocks and some, some cut branches on here, glued more rocks in the front, texture sprayed that, I used some Bondo on it, and I made this fun little mountain. Now on the back, I put two screws because we were going to make this next. We made a rope bridge. We made a fun, very realistic rope bridge. We took a long piece of twine, hooked it on to a, uh, I think it was a chair leg or something like that, just to give me the, the length I needed. I bought a bunch of this, uh, I think this might be poplar, um, I can't remember, some real, real small pieces of wood, cut them all to size, then use an X-Acto and carved off the edges a little bit to make it look a little more rustic. I'll give you a close-up in a minute. Um, after I carved up all the edges and I made them all look natural looking and different colors in different places, I stacked up four at a time, used them in a vise, and drilled straight down through it with probably a, a 3 8 inch drill bit. So I made holes through all of these well, I put the twine through it, and as I put the twine through it, I put knots. Sometimes I did not put knots in it, so I could move the wood back and forth and make it look more like it's a damaged, old rope bridge. So when the guy's trying to cut across, they have adventures where, oh, and the rope bridge breaks and the guy falls through. So we like to have a little bit of fun and creativity with this. And some of the knots are a little smaller that it'll go over, and some I left open so it'll go real wide, and we can have a whole big adventure or something falling through here. Now, here, let's bring this over a little closer, buddy. There you are. Thank you, bud. Now, let me get in this side so I'm not in the light. If you could see up close, I made the edges rough, like it looks like it was rough hewn, almost chopped out with an axe, like it's an antique looking old, old rope bridge. And these are simple pieces of wood. This might be over in the um, like the balsa wood area, something like that. It's it's either a pine or a um, I can't remember what, or if it's poplar. It might have been poplar. And I just got the different colors, interweave them with different colors, and put the twine through, and I made this rope bridge. And the neat part about this is I can put it on anything I want. We can string it between two chairs. We can lay this thing out and use it between the, the other mountain we built, between this mountain and the other mountain. There's a lot you can do with this, having a lot of fun. It just took a little time, obviously, to cut these all to size, to drill the holes, to put the rope through. But I'm not gonna lie to you, this isn't easy. This might have taken about three hours complete to make this rope bridge. But the neat thing is, it is a real rope bridge. It's not a piece of plastic. It's not something that the, the ends can snap off and break. It's not something that can um, <clears throat> get ruined easily. I mean, unless the rope snaps, which I could put another piece of twine right through it, this thing's going to last the kids the lifetime of their play adventures. And you have a good time with this, don't you, buddy? Yep. Yep. Love it. He loves it. He loves his adventure guy, and his adventure guy goes, Oh, wait, where's my rope bridge? And the, the hand from above hooked up the rope bridge and saved his life. One of my ideas was that... <clears throat> I put this rope bridge on like, you know, some boxes or something and I raised it up. I put this rope bridge across. We had made another mountain like this, just bigger. And I hooked it to that side. And I put a whole valley of creatures underneath. And I put a whole world in here. And then I had the guy had to get over the rope bridge without falling down and being eaten by the creatures. That's what we do. We have a ball here. So hopefully this will give you a little idea how to build something fun for your kids. Something realistic. No kid in the world has this. You're the only kid in the world that has this. Isn't that cool? Yeah. <laughs> and you're getting the approval that I love it from a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, bub. Well, I hope this gave you some, um, some, some juice to make something new, some fun, some creativity. If you have any ideas, shoot me an email, send me a photo, make me a video. Let me see something new and maybe I can try to build it or you can help me add to this. Have a great day and God bless you. Bye-bye.